Hey guys, this is Sohinky from Mahalo Games, and this is an educational video on Fight Night Champion for the Xbox 360. For more videos in this series, please visit mahalo.com slash fnchampionwt, and if you have any requests, please tweet us at video games. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fighter, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Able to dismiss. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Good fundamental work landing the one-two there. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He comes back with the left hand again. Had his target in mind, but just missed. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough great round now. Back and forth after he did the hurting. He's the one hurt. Joe, simply put, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. Wow, what an uppercut. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. That's the kind of round that tells you all you need to know about what kind of fight this is. Back and forth action, both guys hurt. That's the kind of round that you better make sure that you did all your work in the gym, that you're in shape because more to come. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Here he comes, nice and aggressive, red hot going after it, much the way he... He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, man. Locks a shot and pulls the trigger. Good exchange. He fires back. He fires off the combination there and it lands. And he's holding. He missed with that headshot. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Left and right, left and right, come on, baby. Good return fire that time. That just missed. that exchange this has been a hotly contested war throughout and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds yeah these guys are not saving anything they're going for broke right from the beginning i'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here they got to their man earlier they were able to rock him 
And really, nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working, stay with it until he changes. There he goes with the right hand again. Now Needs move. to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Teddy, is anything going to change at this point? He keeps getting hit by right hands. Probably not. Let's be honest, Joe. This is a habit. This is a flaw that was with him in the gym. And it's still with him now. It's not going to change. The ring. That oh, uppercut man. absolutely Jeez. rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. And that is not what his opponent really wants. He's backed up against the ropes. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. What's he doing? Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. And round seven comes to an end. No worries, all right? I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Keep working. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard here at the beginning of round number eight. One side is on the scorecard, but not reality, Teddy. Not at all. Both guys have landed on the other. And they've both been affected. And that's why this fight is nowhere near being over. Oh, everybody will tell you, you can't get away with that. What a big, wide-sweeping whip that was. Well, you can get away with it if the guy doesn't want to throw back, but if this leads you, That's a big right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Oh, no. Yeah, you can go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Nice combination on the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. He returned fire right there and it worked after being rocked now he gets his man at this point it's not about the skills and the abilities of these two fighters it's about the dreams of them and one of them is being eliminated good strong combo he takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back was just off the mark Ten seconds of the eighth round. There's the combo downstairs. All right, breathe. Now breathe, deep breath. Get some more. All right, you're good, okay? You're good out there. Now breathe, boy. breathe. Here you go. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be low to Thomas to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Hey, 
comes right back with a shot of his own. Guys, your head! Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bring it back. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. Unbelievable work there landing a four. Oh! And he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unable to beat the count. It'll go down as a knockout, Teddy. Perfectly timed punch. For the official particulars, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch him? He shook my hand, but that was back then. We're not good, fam. I'm the fool, because I started to be cool with him. But I got schooled in the art of opportunism. I ain't the only one that walked away. Look around, everybody gone today. You all alone with your empty chest, so bury the bone.